This is my awesome digital microscope from Andenstar. Construction wise, this thing is actually really, really solid. I mean, it's got the typical like plastic face and all that, but this base right here, this is all metal. This is all aluminum stuff right here. where you have got your little adjustment knobs. Uh, and then they even, they send it like with a little tool so that you can assemble it with the little Allens on the bottom there. So it, it went together super fast. I didn't even know about this guy, but it's got some controls right there on the front side. And then we've got our little grabber arms so that it can stabilize that part as I'm working on it. Overall, I'm really, really stoked with the construction, the USB power cord that you saw me plug in there, and then these extra little lights. And on top, we've got power coming from this little button so we can turn it on and off with the push of that button. We've got some controls also on there that do other things. It says welcome, it's even polite. There's that, oh, and this guy. This guy plugs in right here, so you don't have to have that. You can absolutely remove that. And I think, at least so far, I think what happens when you plug that in, it splits off two different movie files with the chip in the back that you're gonna see in a bit. Now that I have this remote control, it really makes all the difference. I'll show you why. This thing records. It's recording right now. Actually, no, it's not. Why isn't it? Please insert SD card. What a jackass. One of the coolest things about this, not only is it, oh, really good at showing how gnarly my fingernails are. I'll clip those. But it's also good because look at how up close it is on this teeny little chip and I can see it so, so well. Look at the size of my finger in there. So this chip is gonna go in the back of the unit right now. Check that out. Okay, so we got this guy right here and let's say that we want to do some work on it. We want to stay in place. So we put our little grabby grabber arms on there. I want to be able to see this screen the way that it should be. So use the remote control, buy out, flipped it over just by clicking a button, it rotated it. If we want to drop how bright it is, we could do that. If we want to lighten it up, or even if we want to start recording. Now because I pushed this button, this okay button, it's the same thing as using the controls right here on the screen, but we're literally recording live right now. Now, the one gripe that I have, I wish this thing had a better microphone because then I could sync it up and post later, but because it doesn't, something super, super important is I can hop in here and open up a menu. If I hit menu again, it allows me to set the date and time. You have all these different options for when you want to record stuff, which is super freaking cool. Even if you just want to record how to do something yourself for later. Something I didn't even know about until today is this dude right here. Check this out. It's got a little LED so we can brighten stuff up and do all that. But the dope thing about it, it's a freaking camera. It's a camera. So we've got this view and then we've got that view, which is this. This is like inception. My camera is aiming at you, which is a camera and then it's aiming at itself. This is insanity. I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting here recording this, super excited right now. Look at, that's my silly face. I am pumped about it. And then this is you looking at you. This is gonna break the internet right now. Yes, and there's a little fly ride glowing in the background. This is all so good. But you know, I mean, just being practical, like let's say I have to get down at like a certain angle or something like that. It's just cool. This is just, Super geek-tastic awesome. You could change so that we've got that in there. So let's say, let's say I wanted to record from three different angles, right? We've got one angle that shows the thing that's like right here where my hand is at, right? So you can actually see the cool unit. And then one thing could absolutely just be recording live right here. And let's talk about some other cool stuff. So we can actually even get in here and if I adjust this up and down, we can get super, super close to the action here. Look at this. Let me show you on the back side of it. And I can adjust the focus with this ring right here. 
Bow. Oh my God. Look at the size of this soldering iron tip, right? So here it is getting in the camera. You know what's really tough and interesting to learn how to do is to look at the screen right here and then be soldering as you're sitting there trying to figure out like moving your hand you know it, it could easily be a matter of it's too hard to do it that way so you flip it over and then now as i'm moving up it's up because otherwise you can kind of like lose your your sense of where you're at on here but this is pretty dope i mean i was doing some really fine-tuned like moving around of tiny little components like check this out this is the size of a resistor right so like, let's say I want to put this thing in there. Look at that tiny resistor on the screen. So this is something that I thought was super awesome. You've got these extra little arms on the back. See on the top, on the side. And these things can be extra light or they can be your main sense of light. Look at that, look how small that is. Imagine that I'm sitting here and I'm working on the screen and I need to get that guy perfectly on that little pad for the 10. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. This is like chopsticks to a crazy whole new level. I don't know. I'm pretty pumped about it. Also, big shout out to my boy, You Do It. I was looking at his Instagram and that's how I found And In Star to begin with. So go follow You Do It and go follow And In Star on Instagram as well. So listen, if you just want to nerd out and you do some crazy soldering and stuff like that, I'm going to put the link in the description below, but look around, look at like the solder melting and the crazy stuff that's happening. Uh, I'm kind of digging the green screen stuff. I'm goofing around with it, having fun, but and in star, they sent me this microscope so that I could learn it so that I could play with it. And so that I could show you that their company is dope and they make this awesome little thing again. The audio is not there, but who cares about audio besides guys making videos like me? But if you want to be able to record the stuff that you're doing, if you do some crazy intricate circuitry, especially you guys that are making like your own genius at home, little sequential controllers and weird stuff like that, you'll be able to see it so magnified. It's ridiculous. There was no key talking points that I went by on this. I'm just running on full enthusiasm for how dope this little machine was. I didn't even realize it for a long time because I didn't put the AAA batteries in there to find out all of these extra little modes and stuff that I could unlock by using that remote, but it's pretty dope. It's pretty amazing. So it's Tuesday, good day to buy tools like Tool Tuesday. More videos just like this one right over there. Enjoy. Have a good day. I love you.